Hi, welcome to Videoverse. Hello. We're uh, Game Awards is happening in just a couple days. It is. And we, me and DJ thought it would be just a, a fun little thing to just look at all the nominees for all the categories, and we're gonna give our predictions of who's going to win, as well as who of the the list of games we we want to win all, right. of, the, all of the categories. So first. First category, starting starting big, go big or go home. Then. Go big or go home. All right, game of the year: uh, Control, Death Stranding, Resident Evil 2, Sekiro, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, The Outer Worlds. All right. Who do you who do you okay? Judging by just how the game awards may work, who do you think it's gonna pick? Right. Um, fuck. I've hardly ever like looked into the game wars. I don't really know too too much. Okay. But because last year it was God of War, right? Yes. Okay. Even though so it was like Red Dead Redemption Two mm. was nominated for like every category. Yeah. yeah. Won every category, uh -huh. and then God of War won Game of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> Just despite them. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, going with that knowledge, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go with fuck. I'm not gonna go with. I'm not gonna say control or the outer world because I know nothing about those. Okay. I know literally nothing. Uh, I've played the most of Sekiro, but that's not saying much. I barely touched it. Right. Um, Super Smash Bros. Played a little bit of that. Death I, Stranding. I feel. Nothing. I feel like Super Smash Bros. Like, is not gonna win. You don't think so? No, I mean, because I know it's it's nominated for other things. Mm -hmm. Game of the Year, yeah, no. though. I don't think so. No. Yeah, right. definitely not. I'm. Oof, man. Shit. I'm gonna say either <laughs> Death Stranding or Sekiro, but out of those two, I'm gonna say... <sighs> fuck, I mean, Sek Death Stranding came out not too long ago. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Sekiro, fuck it. Okay. I'm go with Sekiro. I think Resident Evil 2 is gonna win game. You think so? Yeah. I mean, it's like... It's not like this game came out this year, like it's Resident Evil 2, but mm. I, I think... I think it's more universally loved. It's it's loved better just on a broader scale yeah. than I think Death Stranding and Se Sekiro. Okay. I know a lot of people have had issues with Sekiro just like because of bosses and like it's really intense focus on just like parrying mm. and all that stuff. And oh, I think, definitely. I think it wasn't as like it's good. I like it. Yeah, but a lot a lot of Dark like, Souls Dark people Souls don't. Stuff. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah, maybe. maybe like, I I want Death Stranding to win because <laughs> I love that game so much. But maybe I, like in story category. I think yeah. I think for game of the year though, I think game of the year is gonna go to Resident Evil 2. All right, action game of the year: Apex Legends, Astral Chain, Call of Duty, Devil May Cry 5, Gears 5, and Metro Exodus. Okay, out of those, I'm only gonna say Devil May Cry 5 because yeah. that looked the. I've never played it yet. I have it. We're gonna play it on the show. Stay tuned. But out of those, like that one looked the most fun. Astral Chain seems pretty cool. It's just like anime Dark Souls, but I've never uh -huh. played it. I don't have it. I feel like Astro Chain would be a really good one, but I remember people being being like pissed because it's a Nintendo Switch exclusive. Oh yeah, that's pretty dumb. Um so I think it's gonna go to Devil May Cry, and honestly that's that's the one that I want to do. But I mean like Apex Legends is super popular though, so Yeah. But it I don't know of like action games. Mm -hmm. I like Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry is just like it, it the is, action yeah, game. Exactly. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> Apex Legends is cool, but it's mm -hmm. like all right, action adventure game. Borderlands Three, Control, Death Stranding, Resident Evil Two, Link's Awakening remake, and Sekiro. Fuck. Okay. Um. I don't fuck. think Borderlands Three is gonna win. No. Just because I think there was just so much crap surrounding that. Well, game. straight up action. I'm gonna say Sekiro <laughs> was straight up just action. Action adventure. I mean, yeah, it being a From Software game kind mm -hmm. of already gives it. It's like it's an action adventure game, yeah. you know, From Software, Sekiro, Dark Souls. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't know about Zelda. I don't think I don't it's know. gonna be Zelda. Yeah, no. I mean, it's a good game, but really, it's just a good-looking game that mm -hmm. came out, uh, you know, Very over, nostalgic over ten years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, for, I don't know, I, I, I think this one's gonna go to Resident Evil 2 again. Alright. I don't know, just that like, possible. just given what the other Resident Evil, I don't know, it, I just feel Check like... Check out our playthrough of Resident Evil 2. <laughs> whenever, have, did we play it? Oh yeah, we yeah. Have, oh, yeah, we, we didn't finish it. But... Yeah, well we, we beat Claire's story. We beat Claire, yeah. Art Direction, Control, Death Stranding, Gris, Sayonara's Wild Hearts. 
uh, Sekiro and The Legend of Zelda. Death Stranding. In terms of like art direction. Yeah, what it tried to do. I think technical achievement. Yeah. I yeah. Think. Artistic design and animation. It's the weirdest game in terms of like what they. I don't know a whole lot about Gris, but I've I've heard enough to know that it's like 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 one of the masterpiece indie games <laughs> that that came out this year. Um, so I'm gonna, I don't know, I think it's a toss-up between okay. Death Stranding and Gris. Audio design. Uh, so like music and sound and everything. Call of Duty, Control, Death Stranding, Gears 5, Resident Evil 2, and Sekiro. That's really hard for me. I think, I think it's Death Stranding. I'm gonna go with your answer. The, the soundtrack to that game and just, like, so, so it consists of like, low roar and silent poets and other like musical musical artists and mm -hmm. every song comes in at the perfect moment while you're just like traversing this huge world it's so, okay. so good i think it's i want that one to win and i truly think that it is going to win that why is that on there community <laughs> support apex legends destiny oh, 2 good. final fantasy 14, Fortnite, and Tom Clancy Rainbow Six. First off, why is Destiny 2 on there? I have not heard anything about that game. It is like five bucks on at GameStop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I would love for Final Fantasy 14 to win because it, it deserves is, it. It is a good game, but I, th I think Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah, it's Fortnite. and that's just because it's Fortnite. It's Fortnite. You know? <laughs> All right, family game. Okay. Luigi's Mansion 3, uh, Ring Fit Adventure, Super Mario Maker 2, Super Smash Bros Ultimate, and Yoshi's Crafted World. I think definitely not Ring Fit or Yoshi's yeah, Crafted no. World. <laughs> I think there's too much animosity behind Super they Mario Maker 2. Mario Party in there, like the new one. But it w it wasn't good. It wasn't as good. No, it was no. it was a it's kind of a it's kind of a slap to the dick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, That's unfortunate. That does hurt. I'm gonna say I haven't played Luigi's Mansion 3. Same. Either. I would love to. And I've never played a single Luigi's oh, Mansion game. It's good, man. I'm gonna say. Smash Bros. I'm gonna say Mario Maker 2. Okay. Alright. Fighting game. Oh, Dead or Alive. Smash. Jump for Why? Why is, Why Jump is that on there? On there? <laughs> Mortal Kombat 11, Samurai Showdown, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I, actually, I recently bought uh, Jump Force for Black Friday sale, and I've only played an hour of it in the, through the story mode, and it's so bad. I want yeah. to make a No, I know, I know. It's, it's, it's so awful. Alright. But I think it's Super Smash, Smash Bros. Bros. Yeah, Super yeah. It's Smash Bros. <laughs> Alright, fresh Ooh. indie game presented by Subway. <laughs> nice. eat, eat fresh. Eat you know? fresh, guys. Fresh indie game. Za slash Oom. Never heard of that. Never. No, I don't know any of these. Um, oh, it's uh, oh, it's like fresh indie like studio. Oh, okay. Okay, so for the game Gris, for the game uh, Disco uh, Elysium, hmm. for my friend Pedro, I heard that one was kind of good. For hmm. Outer Wilds. Um, Slay the Spire and Untitled Goose Game. I'm gonna go just on the title. I'm gonna go with uh, the Spire one. Really? Yeah. Just just by its title. I've never even heard of it. So. I've never heard of any of these. <laughs> I thought Untitled Goose Game was pretty good, so that's. Mm. Uh, I mean, that sounds dope. Yeah, I, I think it's so. Game direction. I already. I think it's going to be Death Stranding. I, I believe so, too. Uh, Control, Death Stranding, Resident Evil 2, Sekiro, and Outer Wilds. I I just... I, I believe Death Stranding. Kojima too. and just all of the direction and mm -hmm. just... the So the description of it is Award for Outstanding Creative Vision and uh, Innovation in Game Direction and Design. So I think that kind of just fits yeah, <laughs> Death Stranding. Just, I agree. Uh, games for Impact. So these are thought-provoking games with a pro-social meeting. Uh, meaning or message. Mm. Uh, Concrete Genie, Gris, Kind Words, Life is Strange 2, and Sea of Solitude. I'm gonna go with Kind Words. Because it just sounds nice. This is the, the, you put your votes in DJ's hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, whether it's good or not, eh, it sounds good. <laughs> um, I never played Life is Strange 2, but. It sounds like a very shitty message. Life, just like... Life is Strange 1 is hella. Okay, so All right, cool. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I know from what from the messages that I tried gathering from Life is Strange Two, it definitely has some weird agenda to it mm. that I'm not a fan of. So yeah. I'm not gonna okay. go for that one. Fair I'm enough. just gonna say Gris because I feel like it's still it it's uh, I don't know. All right, <laughs> cool. Gonna, <laughs> best indie game. Uh, Baba is you. Disco Elysium. Katana Zero. 
Outer Wilds and Untitled Goose Game. I'm gonna go with Outer Wilds because it sounds interesting. Yeah, I've heard some stuff about it, so mm. I'm just gonna say that too. Mobile game, you know we love our mobile games we do. here on Video First. It's all we play. I don't know any of these. I'm gonna say Call of Duty Mobile. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> uh, Grindstone, I don't know. What the golf? That just sounds funny. So it does. Let's do that one. Multiplayer game: Apex Legends, Borderlands 3, Call of Duty, Tetris 99, and Tom. Clancy's Please let Liberation. it be Tetris 99. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. I think Apex Apex is gonna win it. Probably. But I, yeah. but I I would like Tetris to win it. Yeah, that would be dope. <laughs> Best narrative. Death Stranding. There we go. Okay. <laughs> A Plague Tale, Control, Death Stranding, Disco Elysium, The Outer Worlds. What is The Outer Worlds? I've heard of nothing of it. Outer Worlds, it, so there's a game called Outer Wilds and a mm. great game called Outer Worlds. Okay. So they're different games. Okay, cool. <laughs> but Outer Worlds, oops, Outer Worlds is the game that was made by the same development team who made Fallout New Vegas, which okay. is like one of the best ones. Mm. Some people just say it's the best one, and this is basically just a sci-fi Fallout. Oh, so, cool. I hear it's really, really good. Uh, I haven't played it yet, but I have played Death Stranding, and I want that one to win, and I think it should win, because it's got a really freaking good story. Oh, yeah. Best ongoing game, Apex Legends, Destiny 2, yes. 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 <laughs> Final Fantasy 14, Fortnite, Tom Clancy, Rainbow Six Siege. Fortnite. It's going to be Fortnite, gonna be but Fortnite. Final Fantasy 14 has been going so strong it really for has. so long. I know, oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah. Performance. Ashley Birch from Outer Worlds Country or Country Hope. Country Hope. Hope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Country Hope from Control. No, wait, shit. <laughs> Courtney Courtney Hope from Control. Laura Laura uh, Bailey from Gears 5. Mads Mickelson, yes. Uh, from Death Stranding and Matthew Peretta from Control and Norman Reedus from Death Stranding. I it's it's Mads Mikkelsen. I know. I know you haven't played it, but oh my god, I've I've never seen, I've never seen someone just be so good in a game. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do a curveball. I'm gonna say uh, Ashley Birch, not Courtney Cope. Yeah. <laughs> or, sorry, country Country Cope. <laughs> best RPG for the best game design with rich player character customization and progression, including massively multiplayer experience. Disco at Elysium, Final Fantasy XIV, Kingdom Hearts Three, Monster Hunter Worlds, Iceborne, so DLC, yeah, um, and the Outer Worlds, Kingdom Hearts Three, for best RPG. Out of these, I, I think know, so. Final Fantasy XIV is like fourteen's a lot so of fun. Good, it's really good. But and for for me, just my whole <laughs> history with Kingdom Hearts, I just. I mean, like, I want to, I wish I, I wish I could confidently say that Kingdom Hearts 3 deserves it, but I don't, I don't think it really does. I mean, it's good, but. I just think it'll win more popularity-wise, because of, like, all yeah. the hype and stuff with it. Alright, but let's see, score in music. Uh, Cadence of Hyrule, Death Stranding, Devil May Cry 5, Kingdom Hearts 3, or Sayonara Wild Hearts. I don't know. I don't know about Sayonara. Well, Devil May Cry 5 is no, just because like of the one hard metal. It's just one of the one song where it just sounds so cringy. Like I remember listening to it during one of the live shows where they were singing the song. It was just so bad. Oh really? I don't know. I feel. I feel like games like Devil May Cry, like or at least like DMC, the like reboot or whatever, mm -hmm. and uh, Devil or not Devil May Rising. Uh, Metal Gear Rising, like, mm. just like those metal soundtracks are so loved. Oh no, they are, but just, I don't know, it just sounds cringy. <sighs> Cadence of Hyrule, I do have that game, and I, I beat that one in a couple of days, and the music is baller in that game. Well, right? I mean, that is like the whole point of the game, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a rhythm game, yeah. you know, it's a music game. Death Stranding has, like I said, killer art, like, or uh, sound design. Mm -hmm. Kingdom Hearts, I mean... Here, a... let's play the Kingdom Hearts music. <laughs> <laughs> Kingdom Hearts is just like... You, there's nothing else to say about Kingdom Hearts' music other than it's just like, there's almost no comparing it. It's just so good. Mm. I love Kingdom Hearts' music. I, I don't think that there was enough new tracks in Kingdom Hearts 3 to... There's only like one. There's a couple. There's two, a couple. Two major ones. Well, I mean, but like just even in the score uh -huh. and some other areas of the game okay. too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright. Sports slash racing game. Uh, 
Crash Team Racing. Oh, but I think, which one do you think is going to win? I want to say Death Stranding. Death Stranding? I think it's also going to win. Uh, sport and Racing Game. Crash Team Racing. Dirt Rally 2.0. Uh, a football... <laughs> Two football, like, or, uh, soccer games, and, and, uh, <laughs> F- F1. I don't know, I'm just gonna say Crash. Yeah, same. Uh, <laughs> I've never played any sports yeah. or racing game. Strategy game. Uh, Age of Wonders, Planetfall, Anno 1800, Fire Emblem Three Houses, Total War, uh, Tropico, and War Group. It's Fire Emblem. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be Fire Emblem. <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> yeah, no, that's an easy pick. Like, what a... <laughs> What a slap in the dick to all these other strategy games. I know, right? Best VR slash AR game. Uh, Asgard's Wrath, Blood and Truth, Beat Saber, No Man's Sky, and Trover Saves the Universe. Beat Saber. Beat Saber. Yep. Simply because of all, how much people love it. Well, I heard that Asgard's Wrath was like, really, really good. Mm. But I also don't know anything yeah, about Yeah, I don't it. know anything about most I'm a of these. huge rhythm game boy. I'm a, I'm a rhythm game boy. Rhythm game boy. The I new say? kind of game boy coming at you. Um, the Justin Roiland VR games are all really good. Mm. So it might be that one. Could be. I don't know. I'm going to say Beat Saber just because I like it. Nice. No Man's like... Sky has just too much yeah, baggage behind it. Even though it's good now, it's like... It took too long. Yeah. Should have been that way. The yeah. first time. There's a yeah. lot more categories than I thought there would be. Yeah, definitely. It's way too many uh, <laughs> esports categories. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> uh, so those were our predictions and our opinions on just what uh, the selection of the game awards is going to be like this year. Yeah. I think it's going to be very interesting. I agree. I, for hon- honestly, I there's some categories where any one of them could win and mm. I would be like, okay. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense or I, I don't know, you know. Best Devil May Cry game that came out this year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah. That so was let our... us know y'all's yeah. opinions. Yeah, tell us who you think is going to win game of the year or best action or best RPG or whatever. Give us your opinions. Give us your list. Uh, we just got a couple more days till it airs live. Uh, and until then, bless on you. Yeah. I haven't said that one. You haven't. It's been a while. I've maybe said it once or twice. I probably. All right. Bye. I love, I love you.